My sister is taking off her skates in the background. I'm going to show you something for comparison. Here's what the replacement kit comes with for the sake of comparison. So here are the orange cushions, and here are the stock cushions. I'm going to show you an example of each. So this is the stock ones. On there, I'll show you where, what goes where and how. It's really simple. Like, this is the simplest thing you can do to your skates to improve your experience. So this, these are the bigger cushions you see at the bottom of your skates. Or I guess, right, these ones are closer to the plate. Sorry, I, I was... Never mind. Um, just for context, if you heard what my sister said, um, it was a little fact about chickens. And this does come with... So here are what the skates come with. The thick cushion next to thick cushion. And yes, the softer they are, the bigger they seem to get by a little bit. So they're orange because they're medium in this case. That's what that means. They're kind of greasy, which is great because it actually, it's easy to put them on. These are hard to pull off. They have like tension almost. And like, no give. Can you see that little bit of give right there? That's amazing. I'm not going to lie to you. That's the most amazing thing. So yeah, these are the pieces. And they also come with these little cups. I don't know if I need these. Honestly, I kept the ones that were on the skates on. Because I didn't feel like taking them off. But maybe I'll, on the next install I will. Um, yeah. I might sew a little bit of footage of my sister skating in them. But I don't know. I just wanted to sew you how to change them. I'm here. I'm back. I'm going to sew how you install cousins. So, the first thing you do is you have to loosen your trucks enough to get the old cushion off. Can you see that? Recommend a Y tool, by the way. Y3, any kind of Y tool is way better than um, a crab tool for this. Just because you need to take off your wheels to use a crab tool to get it off. And you don't need to do it this way. Try to pr pretend, make sure you keep track of what you're pulling off. This part here looks scary. It's not. It literally. That's where you can see a pivot cup in there. I know it's an awkward angle. I'm trying my best because I have to hold it in my knees. I don't want to sell my face. That's why, by the way. So that's what it looks like, your plate. Now, I hope that you didn't see any of me. I don't think you did. Um, here's one of the little cups. Then we need a big cushion. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember if I need to have the slightly concave area here, so I'm going to put that up. This one's a little harder. So, we're going to put this right on top. So, see how that retreats? I got to pull it up out of there. Oh my god. The kingpin's disappearing. So you gotta retrieve your kingpin and hold on to it. The sliding thing's supposed to help a little bit. <laughs> I'm truly trying to do a tutorial and I know it's really hard to watch and you struggle with I hope you aren't bored. Once you've caught some threadings, start to just pull it up and we'll pull your kingpin up into it. When you get to this point, I recommend you take your tool I don't know what I'm going to title this video other than the best thing you could possibly do to your rainbow riders apparently because oh my gosh, did you see the ability to have flexin? My, my sister likes her trucks tighter so I'm going to make them tighter. I would have mine personally looser. That looks about right for now. I don't know, should I show the back one? Are you even interested in watching the back one? You just repeat the same steps you showed you right there if you are paying attention. If you aren't, if you're like me and have a touch of span of a gnat, you don't notice right away. I'm sorry, I'll just show you it. My kittens are playing in the background. They're absolute destructive little monsters, so please ignore sounds they make. They decided they're going through the destructive phrase. I'm getting a lot better at these, if you, as you can tell. Wow, that had like a little... There's like, they're a little stuck, I'm going to tell you that. This is an important detail. This is the one I have a have a lizard truck on, too. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say something for tutorial purposes. See this? This is a pivot cup. This just came out. Do not lose your pivot cup. That's the only one. I put it back in right there. Don't lose that. Ever. It's very important. And very bad if you lose it. So. Just 
take the juicy one right here, and it's getting quite dusty. Take your juicy, shiny one. Remember, big one on the bottom. The one with the slight dip in the top, right here, as you see. Divot. Little divot up there. What you do after that is you take uh, your truck. You first seat it in your pivot cup or rotation cup. Take your item, make sure you keep the king pen in your hand. Take your top one. Make sure the divoted side is the one that's up because that's how the Stockholm's came. And Titan, it's, it's so simple. I don't know why I was scared of this. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, it's too cheap to buy the cushions, and then I did, and then I upgraded the skates. That's pointless because my new skates have better cushions. But that's not the point. So they're kind of my sisters. I mean, if she's willing to call it even on something, so you can have them for the duration of the skates' life, because she's gonna be wearing them a lot more than me. These Rainbow Riders. That's a little tight in comparison to the other side. So we'll continue to adjust these, but voila. You have cushions installed that are softer and prettier, honestly. That was super easy. These are all your stock ones, which are dry as hell and hard to pull off in comparison to putting on the new ones. They even have their cups attached on some of them still, but that's why I put the new ones on. They have That's why I got the replacement kit. So this is on Moxie's website. I think, I'm sorry if this is a bit long, but I might... It was 17 bucks to get them. These are... Like $1 I got a discount, but these are $18 regular retail, and if I'm correct... They're currently free. There's free shipping on Labor Day weekend or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll post this earlier. But sometimes I'll free shipping deals so you can get them. Oh, I you recommend can see this. The difference, like, when I'm here. Now, I saw someone named Skady say that you should be able to do this. Can you tell if there's any movement? Yeah, there's I can't tell if you can tell it's on camera, but there's movement even with these relatively tight trucks. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I hope you can at least. But thank you for watching. I think that's it for the installation video and a little bit of a tutorial. Me and my sister hope you enjoy or and hope this helps because if you have the Rainbow Raiders, this is one of the best things you can do for them. Bye. A few moments later. I'm doing a voiceover for this section of the video and this is the skates. Um, one. The left hand side has the upgraded cushions on the skates, and then the right hand side has the stock cushions that a Rainbow Rider comes with. You can see the difference in the flexibility of your truck immediately from there, obviously. So that's my sister like flexing her foot. You can actually see it turn a little bit depending which way you lean. This one, you literally just see the wheels move. You don't lean. And when you have both when you have your feet on the ground, you can't do a one foot turn like that. Another thing to note is at the very top of the plate in between the first cushion and the plate of your skate. These ones have a nut, so they aren't going to be as flexible as a skate without a nut uh, up between the, on your king pen. I don't know why it's there, to be honest. I just know that it does take away a little bit, but these cushions will pretty much negate that issue as soon as they're installed, so it's not really a problem. They're really cool. I like the color. It matches the Rainbow Rider orange almost, or the red more closely, but it's not exactly red, it's orange. So yeah, and the, those are the nuts I talk about right there between the plate and the first cup holding your cousin. See you at the skate rink. Here are, here's my sister using the skates with the upgraded cousins at the skate rink. To be honest, I have no idea what she's doing. I was trying to tell she was confusing me a little bit, but she's trying out the cushions in a way she felt like. So she's jumping to see how they feel. She said that she didn't feel like... With the old cushions, you'd feel a twinge through your ankle if you jumped like that, apparently. At least when seated. I don't know if everyone felt that, but seated. And the new cushions seemed to, seemed to mitigate that. I did, the original audio is been, has been muted for to avoid copyright because they were playing copyright music at most at the skate ring like most. Here she is trying to do a back and forth um, bubbles. Some people there's another phrase for that, but basically she did bubbles back and forth a little bit for so flexibility. I'm trying to get her, she did this thing where she like jumped around. I'm not exactly sure why. Here's our patented skate transition uh for those who care yeah it's pretty simple here she is suiting the duck yeah and that 
cool. So you didn't have any momentum behind it, but so you can suit the ducks. That's really awesome. Here she is doing her dance skating. Ooh, yeah. Made a good song on, you know. I just, I can't have the original audio for you guys to know what that song is, unfortunately, but. Here she is doing the only dance move she knows. And um, these, uh, one comment about the Rainbow Riders is for her, they're too big, so it does make it harder for her to move still properly. Bye.